Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 45. Delete multiple child objects with checkboxes. This continues from the past couple of Ruby Snacks where we're focused on advanced forms. In this episode, you'll learn how to write a test that checks multiple checkboxes. You'll learn how to delete multiple child objects with a custom controller action. If you want to code along, you simply need to clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch, which is the Ruby snack just before this one, Ruby snack number 44. So you'll git clone it, you'll cd into it, you'll bundle, and then you'll rails db create and db migrate. First up, let's look at our feature spec where we describe how we're going to delete multiple evaluations. We're going to use let without the bang to create crew member because we are going to call crew member when we visit a path. However, we are not calling the evaluations, so we need to go ahead and have that bang because we need them to be on our index page. I'm going to make three of them. I'm going to make them individually because we are going to do some checks. So I'll make three different evaluations. Then in our scenario, we're going to select multiple evaluations to delete. So we'll visit that crew member evaluations path. Then we're going to expect the page to have a link to make sure that we are at least loading the first evaluation. And you can use have link. Have link is very similar to how you would write a link to. You have the name of the link in quotation marks and then an href which says where it goes to. And it goes to the edit crew member evaluation path for the crew member and evaluation one. Now here's the part where we find those checkboxes. Since there are multiple checkboxes, we have to find the CSS with the ID, and we're gonna set it as evaluations IDs, and I'll show you why in a bit, and we'll have a value of one. So if you wanna find the first one, value one, and we're gonna set that to true. So we're gonna check that box. And we're gonna do the same thing for the second evaluation, value two. This is how you can find multiple checkboxes by finding their individual IDs. Then we'll click on a button to delete the selected evaluations. And now we're going to expect to have a message saying evaluation successfully deleted. And now we're going to expect not to have a link for edit for evaluation one or two. And let's do one final check where we expect the evaluation count to now equal one. So we created three to begin with. We've deleted two, so now there should be one. Let's go ahead and fix up our evaluation factory to make sure that it's creating everything we need. We're gonna make the start date date yesterday. We're gonna just put in a lorem instant paragraph. And then if you recall from our enum episode, we're gonna have a rating called acceptable. It'll just have crew member nil, but we're setting our crew member when we're making it in our spec. Moving into our text editor, let's make that new spec. So I'll make a new file in our features directory. And we'll call that delete multiple evaluations spec.rb. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in real quick. Now let's move over to our factory for evaluations. And I'm going to select all of it and replace with the new factory and save. Now, of course, we need to run our spec to see that it is failing and what our first step should be. All right, so we cannot find that checkbox. Let's go ahead and begin adding that. We're going to be editing the evaluation index that was created by our scaffold of evaluations. We're going to add a form tag. So it's not a form for, it's a form tag to a specific path, which we will call destroy multiple crew member evaluations path method delete do. And we're going to put that at the beginning of our file here. Then we'll have the table that the scaffold puts there for us. And then there's not really anything to change in this next thing. It's just the table showing everything that we already have. Going to go ahead and leave the link to destroy just one. Now is where we add the checkboxes. Going to add a label tag to the checkbox. It'll say select for deletion. The checkbox tag will have the name evaluation IDs and then a bracket for an array. We're going to be adding those IDs into this array and that's how it'll come into us as a parameter which we can deal with in our controller. So we have that name and the value will be evaluation ID. So when that's checked, That ID goes into an array for evaluation IDs. Then below the table, we have a submit tag to delete selected evaluations. Then we end that form, and then we have the link to new as before. Here we are replacing all of the index with our new code. 
Now we need to add a route so that the form tag can go to that route. So we're going to add that under evaluations due and for the collection due delete destroy multiple. In this case the method will be delete and not get because we are deleting records. As you see our nested routes make it easy to delete these child objects. And here we are in our routes adding that to evaluations. The last step is to add our action in the evaluations controller. We're going to say evaluation where an ID equals the params of the evaluations ID. So go through every ID that's in that array for evaluation IDs dot destroy all. And that's especially the syntax for Rails 5. You may see dot destroy all with the parentheses, so it's taking in some parameters, but that is depreciated in Rails 5.1. So here we are with this code where the ID equals and then dot destroy all. Once we've done that, we can redirect to the crew member evaluations path and have that notice evaluations successfully deleted. Jumping back into our controller, I'm going to add it under destroy because it makes sense to put them both together next to each other. So destroy multiple next to destroy. Now let's run our spec again and it passes. Here are some additional resources you can check out. I did use Stack Overflow to look up some of the code I needed for the episode and then changed it for what I needed for my app. That's it for this Ruby snack. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up. If you are not subscribed on YouTube, go ahead and click that red button to do so. It's best if you want to leave a comment to do that on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.